All right, I'm gonna show you how to set up your work today with the brine shrimp. First, you're gonna get a vial like this so you can get up close to a bunch of the swimming shrimp. And um, the first part is about shining a flashlight and using a hand lens and looking for just general response to the light. So I'll let you work through that at the beginning. When you're ready for part two, that's when you're going to place a shrimp on a slide. And I'm using a depression slide today, so you're going to use one like this. It has a little concave dip in the center where you'll place your water drop with the shrimp in it. So I'm gonna open the vial very carefully and make sure I'm uh, holding it carefully. I'm gonna use this little pipette and I'm going to observe and I'm gonna try my best to find a swimming shrimp and get it into my pipette. So I try to get it in there. All right, and then I wanna take my first drop and place it onto the slide. It's often a little air bubble. You'll wanna pop if that happens. Get a little more on that one. Okay, and then I would take the hand lens and observe and see if anything's swimming in there. You might be able to see it right away, but if not, if there's nothing swimming, Take blotter paper, wipe it away, and do that again. You should have more water in your pipette still, so go ahead and take another drop. Get rid of the air bubbles. Observe, look for any swimming. If you don't have any, wipe it away. It might take you three or four tries in the pipette, and you might even need to go back and get another one, but once you find something swimming, you will go through this technique. Have some more blotter paper ready. You're going to need to dab the edges, blot away the water, and try to keep wherever the shrimp is swimming um, in the drop without getting rid of that. So you wanna go on an opposite edge. If I see a shrimp swimming on this side, I wanna go on the opposite edge very gently, and I wanna soak up some water. Careful that I don't put it right on top and take the shrimp. Again, I can do that on the other side, every edge that's away from the shrimp. You want to make your water drop really small and you want to be careful the whole time that you're watching where the shrimp is swimming and you keep blotting on the opposite side. You're not using a cover slip today so you just want a really tiny drop with your shrimp in it. Okay then you'll be putting it onto your microscope. You'll turn it on. You're going to need to help each other here. So the person that is observing um, through the eyepiece, the other person could help to help identify which way they should move to try to catch the, the swimming shrimp in the center of the light. All right, and then you'll get it in focus in low power, practice your focus, and once you get that, make sure it's, the drop is small enough to be able to keep it contained, and you can try it on medium power. And that's where you're going to try to observe and draw your shrimp today. If you finish all that, um, there's one more step that Ms. FD can help you with, I'll help you with, um, that involves feeding your shrimp. So good luck getting to that point. Let's give it a try.